Too few video games grace us with a final scene following the credits. However, there are a number of post credit scenes that should not be missed, regardless of how desperately you may want to return to the title screen. Ranging from hints of a sequel to the comical and obscure, these 10 post credit scenes certainly deserve a watch. Naturally, this video contains spoilers, most are older games, but do check the time codes below if you're bothered. My name is Rage, and these are 10 post credit video game scenes you shouldn't have missed. 10. Telltale's The Walking Dead, Season 1 After the tear-jerking end of the game, this short sequence toyed with many a player's emotions. The scene is so powerful because of the thoughts it is able to generate within the player's mind. There is first relief as we discover that Clementine, the little girl Lee befriends at the beginning of the game, was able to escape the masses of zombies and reach the countryside. Then comes the speculation. Clementine spots two unidentifiable figures walking in the distance. Finally, feelings of hopelessness are restored as we see Clementine seems reluctant to head towards them. The image of a girl orphaned, alone and holding a gun is what we are left with by the end of the scene, leaving players itching to know how the story would play out for her. Thankfully, they were rewarded swiftly with season 2, and now I'm going to try very hard not to cry as now I'm thinking about season 4. 9. Halo 2 the Halo games have had some brilliant post credits cliffhangers. After finishing Halo 2's campaign, you may have been a little disappointed by the final scene. In fairness, the ending was rather blunt, although those that waited beyond the credits may have felt somewhat more satisfied. The post credit scene shows Cortana, the AI the player leaves behind during the game's campaign, awaiting interrogation by the Gravemind. At the very least, it gave players an idea of Cortana's fate, and also strongly hinted at what the third installment to the trilogy would involve. It added a certain level of tension and mystery as fans awaited the next game, and although it did not provide a solid conclusion, the ending was far more intriguing than it would have been had it simply not been included. 8. Dead Space 2 Although there are no visuals for this post credit scene, the dialogue following Dead Space 2's credits revealed a shocking reality. A voice reports to Control, informing them of the status of the base that Isaac, the protagonist, destroyed. It is then revealed that the base was merely Marker Site 12 and that other markers exist. The lack of visuals only adds to the emptiness and lets the shock truly sink in. It also added to the sense of hopelessness that the Dead Space franchise presents so well, almost making the player's efforts all the way through the game seem absolutely pointless. 7. Call of Duty Black Ops a much less serious addition to this list, this post credit scene portrays a comical meeting between historical figures Kennedy, Nixon, McNamara and Castro before the group are interrupted by a random undead horde of zombies. After the primarily dark and serious tone of the game's main storyline, the scene comes as a welcome moment of ridiculousness which, of course, is then followed up by the joy of slaughtering endless waves of the walking dead. Although it had little relevance to the campaign itself, it was certainly an interesting way to introduce the return of zombies and it sure gave Rich Hudson a bit of a nerdgasm. Gentlemen, lock and load. 6. Bloodborne From werewolves to eldritch gods, your journey throughout the land of Yarnum will take you to some very strange places, but none are stranger than the secret endings post credit scene. If you find and consume all three parts of umbilical cords, because yes, of course, you're going to immediately put that bogging thing straight in your mouth, then after you have fought and killed the final boss, you will be met with a final, final boss known as the Moon Presence. This being is one of the great ones the game has been quietly whispering to you about, and killing it rewards you with the most confusing post credit scene on this list. We're... a squid? We're now a baby squid, okay? As seemingly strange as this is, the fan base are always full of really interesting theories about how and why this came to pass, and the speculation is all part of the fun. 5. Until Dawn Throughout Until Dawn, you will work tirelessly to try and save a group of ridiculously accident-prone teens from natural and supernatural entities alike that seem pretty against you surviving the night. 
if during your playthrough you managed to save Josh here from getting his head caved in by this terrifying Wendigo, then you are only shown the details of his alternative fate after the credits have rolled. Throughout the credits you will hear testimonies from each survivor that you managed to save throughout the game and then afterwards we see Josh. He has in fact completely lost his mind having resorted to cannibalism and has begun transforming into a Wendigo himself. Players may feel a sense of anger and injustice as Josh was a character we were intentionally made to feel sorry for and finding out that we had no real control over his fate in the end was absolutely heartbreaking. 4. God of War 2018 Sony's spectacular reimagining of God of War earlier this year will easily go down as one of the best games of our generation. After finishing the campaign and viewing all the credits, we are left with a bit of a stinger. Not just that a three year long winter is on the way, but also that Ragnarok is about to start a whole 100 years prematurely. As if that wasn't enough to get players excited for a possible sequel, after the credits, if players return to Kratos' homestead to rest, we are awakened years later with a deafening crash of thunder which jolts our protagonist awake. It is most definitely Thor at the door and he is pissed. But then we're back in the present day and Kratos scolds Atreus and tells him, oh, it was just a dream. We've got far too much to worry about a little thing like the God of Thunder coming knocking one day. We've got things to do. This sets up the sequel perfectly and certainly made fans very excited about the future of the franchise. Three, Portal 2. Easily the funniest addition to this list, the Portal franchise is well renowned for its sense of humour, and Portal 2 makes you remember this by leaving you with a hilarious post credit scene. It involves the quirky robot Wheatley floating around in space, apologising for his actions, the player having banished him into space after his spree of insanity. This in itself is comical, yet the creators go a step further by having the space core float in and out of the frame, gleefully proclaiming, I'm in space, 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 yay space, as Wheatley continues his short monologue. It's a simple but effective scene, leaving players smiling as they return to the title screen. This, coupled with the incredible credit song, was a very satisfying ending to the game. Still, if we could have a Portal 3, that would be great. Like, not gonna lie. 2. Bioshock Infinite Arguably, Bioshock Infinite contained one of the most cleverly constructed plots in recent gaming history. Its complexity boggled many a player's mind, leaving many wondering what on earth had just happened to them. While the post credit scene in this shooter does not provide all the answers on a plate, it does nicely conclude the fate of the characters Booker, the protagonist, and Elizabeth, his partner throughout the game, who we also find out is his daughter. In short, Booker must die to stop himself from becoming evil in numerous parallel universes. In doing this, Elizabeth, or at least the version of her that existed in the universe that the players experienced, also dies. The player is left depressed with the two lead characters dead, however the post credit scene does offer some comfort. We find Booker in his office, calling for his daughter and entering the nursery. This suggests that Booker was successful and able to finally live at peace with his daughter, and so it's technically a happy ending for our hero. Unfortunately, the Elizabeth that players became acquainted with is still dead as she came from a separate parallel universe, but completely straightforward, right? 1. Prey We really should have seen this twist coming. After tricking us with what had to be one of the coolest video game intros of 2017, Prey goes one step further after the credits have rolled and flips the entire game on our heads. All along, our protagonist, Morgan Yu, has been programmed into the mind of a shape-shifting typhoon and the entire game has just been one big simulation to see if injecting human traits into typhoons could be possible. Furthermore, the scene changes based on your choice that you made at the end of the game. If you chose to escape Talos 1, then we are quickly labelled as a failed experiment and terminated. If you chose to stop the Typhon or blow up Talos 1, then you are given a choice. Shake hands with Alex and agree to work with him against the Typhons, or simply kill everyone. It's a brilliant secret ending to an already incredible, very underrated game. There we go guys, thank you so much for watching and roll those credits.
Right, now Rach is gone, we can have our own little post-credits thing, okay? So I wanted to talk a little bit about the end of Spider-Man on the PS4. Now, this is a massive old spoiler, but there are two spoiler scenes in Spider-Man on the PS4's credit sequence. The first of which is just the best thing ever. You get to see Miles Morales finally display his powers, leaping up onto the roof of Peter Parker's apartment, and just have this great little scene. I'm Scott from whatculture.com, by the way. Probably already knew that where Miles is just up there on the roof and he's just talking to Peter Parker and he's like, yeah, it's kind of weird what I can do. Parker just jumps up, flips, lands on the roof with him and says, it's not that weird. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was genuinely one of the most heartwarming, well-written pieces of cinematography or just a great scene in that game and it capitalized on the whole game's buildup of Miles and Parker's relationship. Um, I also love the very end of the credits where you get to see a nice little teaser for the next game, which is that Harry Osborn is this universe's venom. It seems that going forward in the Insomniac's universe, Harry Osborn is the one that's infected with or is dealing with the symbiote because Norman Osborn is looking to treat some sort of disease or this long-term thing that Harry's been afflicted with for the majority of his life. Both of these scenes are brilliant. They both have a great payoff for the game itself and they set us up nicely for where we're gonna be going from here on in and I adored both of them. So, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for sticking around for the extra bit and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.